So we're going to have a look at one of these questions that was from the homework. I'm going to do part, Hassan, you ready? I'm going to do part A and B as well, just because I think it will make sense for the context of the question. And even if you're fine with all of it, it's just a good recap for some of the stuff that we'll be looking at in today's lesson as well. So let me just grab my pen so we can get started. OK, so we've got a tow bar question. We've got a car of mass 900 kilograms pulling a trailer of 300 kilograms. Let's get this drawn. I don't know why the pen's being a bit funny. So there's my 900 kilograms. There's my 300 kilograms. And it's going along a straight horizontal road using a light tow bar which is parallel to the road. The horizontal resistances to motion of the car and the trailer have magnitudes 200 and 100 respectively. So that's a 200. That's a 100. Um, and the engine of the car produces a horizontal driving force of 1,200 newtons. We're going to try and show that the acceleration is 0.75. So at the moment, we know it's accelerating this way. What should these arrows look like? Should they be pointing in towards each other or pushing out to the car and the trailer for this? They should be going pulling inwards like this. Because at this stage, what do we call this one? Is it tension or thrust? It's tension because it's accelerating towards the right. So the first thing I'll do is I'll have a look at the whole system. And I'm going to resolve going to the right. And I'm going to use F equals MA. So I get 1,200 plus T, if we want to think about this. The force is going to the right, the resultant force. Minus T minus 100 minus 200 is equal to the total mass, which is 1,200 times by the acceleration. These cancel. So you get 900 equals 1200A. So the acceleration is 0 0.75, as they just wanted us to have there. It then says to find the magnitude of the tension. So which do you think is better to look at, the car or the trailer? I personally think the trailer is easier to look at because the diagram of the trailer is much more simple. There's only two forces. So I'm going to have a look at the trailer. And I'm still going to be resolving to the right. And I'm going to use F equals MA. So I have T minus 100 equals the mass times by the acceleration, which we've just worked out is 0 0.75. So we get T equals 300 times 0 0.75. Thank you. Plus 100, which is 325 newtons. If you wanted to check your answer, what could I do? I could use the car. I'm not going to do that, but I mean, very quickly, if we did 1,200 minus 200 minus 325, I'm guessing that's going to be 900 times 0 0.75, because we know that F is equal to MA that we've got there. Well, here's the part of the question that you wanted to talk about. It now says the car is moving along the road when the driver sees a set of traffic lights having turned red. He reduces the, uh, the force produced by the engine to zero and applies the brakes. The brakes produce a force on the car of magnitude F newtons, and the car and trailer decelerate. Given that the resistances to motion are unchanged and the magnitude of the thrust in the tow bar is 100, find the value of F. So this is pretty similar to one of them that we did before. So I'm hoping that you looked over this example by using the video. But let's draw a new diagram for this one, because so much has changed. For me, it seems good to draw a new diagram rather than to use an old diagram. Well, I've got the trailer, which is 300. I've got the car, which is 900. There is no driving force to the right anymore. And I know about the tow bar. They've said that the thrust in the tow bar is 100. So what should these arrows be looking at, like outwards or inwards? They should be going outwards for thrust, because it's like pushing into it. So we're going to have an inwards arrow here and an inwards arrow going into the trailer and into the car. Both of those are 100. There's also the same resistances to motion from before, which was 100 and 200. And there's one more force I haven't included, the, the braking force. So although my diagram is getting a little bit busy here, I've also got a braking force. Now, the braking force is coming out of the car and not out of the trailer. Why is it not coming out of the trailer? The trailer doesn't have a brake. The car is the one that has the brake. So that's why it comes out of this bit here. Now, we know that it's moving to the right. Okay, So I'm still going to say that the direction it's moving in is the direction that I'm going to resolve the forces in to find the resultant, even though I know it's slowing down. Okay, So I'm going to say that if I'm resolving it to the right-hand side like this, I want to try and find out what the, um, the acceleration is. Now, if you have a look at this, and sorry, I said acceleration. I probably really should have said deceleration because we know it's trying to slow down. 
Now there's three things you can do. You can either look at the whole system, you can look at the car, or you can look at the trailer. Out of those three, which one do you think is going to be the best one to begin with and why? The trailer, why do you think the trailer is the best dish rack? Because it doesn't include the F, the, that extra bit. It doesn't have this, yeah, this is the force we don't know about. If you looked at the car, you would have the unknown force in it, okay? And you'd also have the unknown deceleration. If you looked at the whole system, you would have the unknown force in it still, and you would have the unknown deceleration. If you just look at the trailer, you're gonna have a much more simple kind of diagram. So I'm just gonna actually box off the bit that I'm looking at, which is this bit here, and I'm going to do F equals MA for the trailer. So I'm still gonna resolve to the right, and I've got no forces going to the right, so I'm only gonna have negative forces here, which is just going to be the negative 100 and the thrust, which is also a negative 100. And that is equal to its mass times by its acceleration. So we get minus 200 equals 300A. So the acceleration is minus 2 over 3. Why am I happy? Because it's deceleration. I knew it was going to be deceleration. Sometimes people get confused about which way they should resolve. If it's moving to the right, take that as the direction that you're going to resolve in. Okay? Now I know that the acceleration is minus two thirds, I can look at either the whole system or the car. Which one do you think I would prefer to do? I think I probably would prefer to do the car just because I feel like it's got a few less forces going in. So I'm now going to have a look at this part of the diagram and now we're going to resolve going to the right using F equals MA. This time we're going to be doing it for the car instead, okay? What forces are pushing the car forward? The thrust, the thrust, not the tension, but the thrust. So we're gonna have 100. Remember, we sometimes draw that coming out, but it looks like it's pushing in, that's fine. And we're gonna minus 200, and we're gonna minus F, because those are the two forces that are resisting. And that is going to be equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration. Now, the acceleration is minus 2 thirds. Must, it's important you use the same value of the acceleration that was negative. So we now get minus 100 minus F equals two thirds of 900 is minus 600, well, minus two thirds. Rearranging this equation, we get that the force is equal to 500. So the braking force should be 500 newtons that we have there, okay? Are there any other questions from the homework that you thought might be useful for us to have a look at? This one's probably the most challenging one that there was, but this one, we did do an example very, very similar to this. So I hope that if you couldn't do it, you did look at that, that part of your notes and you did look at the video to help you because it's pretty similar to it. It's just about setting up what these things actually look like here, okay?